Hey everybody, it's Riker Rider, and welcome back to Let's Play Dyromancer. I'd like to go over the three beasts that we have uh, at our disposal right now. What I am going to do first is go ahead and replace one of my uh, power beetles with the red worm, even though it's not very good. It's better than having two of a creature that's the same type. I'm going to go ahead and go over each of their qualities. Uh, worms, the only problems I have with them are their uh, low HP and their low level cap. Every creature has a max level. Um, if your character level exceeds that, char uh, that beast's uh, max level, that beast cannot level up anymore. So you want to keep that in mind when assembling your team. And it also prevents you from getting... Uh, too high of a level at too early in the game, which I like. All three of its attacks are pretty good, especially for an early creature. Being able to create multiple attack gems is great. The Power Beetle is what you want to use if you want to deal a lot of damage. They have good HP, a good level cap, but they don't have any elemental strengths. Bolt Spear and Power Smash both only create one gem, but they deal a lot of damage, especially at this early stage in the game. Uh, the Avis is probably my favorite creature type out of the uh, first 14, simply because its attacks are so synergistic. It's expensive to recruit, has only weaknesses, has low HP, and a fairly low level cap. But it Basically what this creature does is it gets rid of all gems of one or more colors, which allows you to create giant cascades. So I'm going to use one of each of the three creatures I have for the first stage. And thus begins our quest to catch up with Temperance. And who's this boy? When, when nothing makes sense, blame it on the wood. That's another untold rule of RPGs. This stage introduces a few things that we haven't seen yet, like monster lairs and barricades. By defeating a certain enemy, or pressing a certain switch, you can remove barricades. Monster lairs generally have a... They have a, a, a horde of the same type of monster surrounding them, and the lair itself has uh, a boss monster in it, which is a little bit more powerful than what you came to expect uh, at this stage in the game. Since we haven't fought a green Aram yet, I'm going to demonstrate this fight. And, uh, and the reason why I'm summoning the worm for this is because... Uh, red monsters have a positive matchup against green monsters, and that increases your uh, attack and defense by 3. Considering the max buff you can have is 7, 3 is pretty big. The green Aram at this level only attacks with an attack called Poison Mist, which decreases your HP over time. Later versions of this monster can get pretty annoying, but... This version is pretty tame, because you can definitely kill it before uh, the poison kills you. Just be aware that the lower your vitality goes, the more damage you will take. You'll be able to recruit this kind of monster soon enough. And this is why I love... Uh, attack gems with big explosions, because you can get more than one attack gem in an explosion and create a combo attack. That's really where most of your big damage is going to come from. And this is that rush I was talking about before. If you get three or more attack gems uh, in one attack, all of your subsequent attack gems will deal more damage than normal. So you can actually create 
big, just you get more mileage out of your attack gems if you blow them up all at once. There is uh, a Kate Sith guarding this gyro code, so I'm going to take care of him off screen. And we're back. We have acquired the Giganto Gyro Code. We haven't seen one of these monsters yet, but they are uh, blue elemental. What blue elemental monsters do is they tend to have a lot of attack gems with big explosions. Now we've acquired a red worm, but I want to show you uh, what, its, what its attack gems do when you're up against them. And I also want to show that if you don't have a creature um, with an affinity advantage, oftentimes uh, throwing a monster of the same affinity against it is the best strategy. Because your, uh, the gems that make your attack gauges fill faster also stall their gauges. So it's two for the price of one, effectively. Whew. Got rid of that guy just in the nick of time. That wasn't too bad. Anyway, all the uh, creatures that are roaming this area will continue... Uh, they're the same variety... And if you de defeat the uh, the boss, uh, all of these kinds of monsters around here will disappear. So I'm going to take care of this one off screen. Once you enter the same square that a monster lair is in, you will face the lair's boss. This is uh, an encounter that's generally one stage above what you're used to seeing. For instance, the lava worm is the next step up from the red worm. It has uh, lava Flow instead of Kindle, which uh, is a much better attack. Uh, the form of a monster, like, um, like what stage the creature is in, does not determine... It's not a determining factor in how much HP the creature has. The only thing that increases a creature's HP is level. And more levels are just gained over time as the creature battles more. Simple as that. Another helpful technique is to use your attack gems to blow up the opponent's attack gems. So you can use your own attacks as preventative measures, which comes in handy in the later stages of the game. However, bear in mind that they can do this to you as well. So, uh, one technique that I can recommend is if there's an attack gem that's in the way of a countdown gem and there's nothing you can do to remove it, spend that last, couple, spend that last turn or two getting your attack gems out of the way so you don't lose them to the explosion. Yay, we win! And we gained a level. Uh, every every monster layer that you uh, def that you uh, wipe out will give you coins as well, and that's the main source of your uh, gill. And this and that blue symbol up there that means that uh, if you defeat this enemy, uh, you'll get an achievement. But we've already seen this kind of creature, so I'm going to take care of it off-screen. <laughs>